Hi everybody, welcome back to episode 14 of my Draconian Necromancer series where I'm verse 5 allied emperor level AIs who I gave a 20 turn head start to. So it is turn 65 for me, the end of it, so I'm going to record my progress. I realized in the last video I said turn 36, but I dyslexified it and it's actually 63. So uh, in this episode, there were a few kind of uh, neat little neat little skirmishes that show some of the power of some of the units that I have. So I'm just going to feature a few of those, but it's going to be pretty brief. Because they had a bunch of six stack units that are very hero heavy because they can hire so many heroes in these settings where I'm limiting myself. But we'll, uh, we'll take a look at how some of this rolls. So I had them surrounded, and of course I'm trying to get my uh, Dread Reapers to do most of the work. Love getting the champion levels on this, because 126 with 60% uh, physical protection, and the other protections is really nice, so I'm trying to sucker them into attacking my Reapers, trying to split this hero off here. And that was... Uh, Forgot about wing beats and would have arranged my troops a little differently. So he got suckered into trying to do physical attacks against this physical resistant guy, which is great. And again, I didn't plan this very well because they're totally ignoring the Dread Reaper. But it ends up working out because I have plenty of heal. Starblade's fine. Devout, one thing to worry about. Easy peasy. Lots of despair stacks. Evangelists. Boop. So I go in to replace all my life. That was pretty good. Pretty good move. Was not anticipating that from him. That was huge. Take him out in short order. So, nice simple battle, but it was just nice to see the power of the Dread Reapers. Yeah. Getting all the health back, basically. What else? What else happened here? That was that. That was not interesting. This kind of a similar strategy of just letting the Dread Reaper do all the work. Um, this is kind of interesting, so I think that's probably the last one. Bullhead Cat, so I'm trying to level up the Glutton here. Um, yeah, the few, lost this unit a little careless, though. Uh, not super sad about that, but we'll see how this played out. I was hoping maybe that they would come to me, especially with this active. But realize they may not do that, and I don't necessarily want to get enchanted threaded. So they're sticking behind their walls pretty carefully. So um, that's a that's one of the things I I love about this invoke death stuff is that you can bring down a, a high health unit just with the minus 40 health. It's a lot of times more damage than you'd ever be able to do. So even if you don't succeed in invoking death, it still uh, reduces things a lot. Really decimated that fence. All right. Evil Slayer. This was unfortunate. I think this was a... I think there's a global event right now which gives Evil Slayer. Oh yeah, I was on a. I had wow, big damage. Really nice with the uh, gas bar. But I was on a, a, a regrowth um, uh, site, so that really helps with this battle. Not doing much damage at all in return there, unfortunately, because this is one of the great counters. 
because no blight damage, less physical damage, uh, and uh, no uh, frost damage. So my hero is not very good at countering that. And uh, cannot heal because he's incorporeal. So the big thing I like to do with the heroes is having a lifesteal, but that will not work against incorporeal. Bye bye. So this was a this was unfortunate with the net, but again, as long as this guy's alive, greater uh, reanimate on the um, on the Lord of the Deep. So I go ahead and do that there. Back to forty four health. I will take him out. So, it uh, worked out pretty well. All right, I think, anything else of note? I don't know that there was. Easy battles there. Um, that was, was it this one? Yeah, so machines are some of my worst nightmare as a necromancer. Um, 54 damage. Crazy. So I invoke death to get them down since they're so... Look how tanky that is. I mean, it's just so hard to do damage to them. So the invoke death, super useful. That's so much damage. But it's good that they're very high health. Slow this down. Doing a little heal action, getting him out of the way. Thank God for this King Shock Serpent. Great for dealing with machines. Good damage. But thankfully, with the high enough health, I can survive the machine onslaught. So that's good to take that out, which is really helpful. The frost is one of the few things that works well. So I'm taking him out there. He's able to lesser reanimate that guy up. Just getting up in his face so that you have to take some hits to move away. He's able to dispel that stuff off. He has to reload, so we're pretty we're pretty good at this point. So, yep, yeah, just a little, little, oh, yeah, that sucked. Uh, that spell to, to bring them, to reassemble them, to bring them back to the dead, super annoying. Was not, not expecting that, but thankfully I had enough and I could do some considerable damage. So, that is a, a sign of things to come, I think. But, uh, yep, yeah, that's it for... Episode 14, see you in the next one.